messages from people that can't make the call live, which is totally fine. This is such a busy time of year. Everyone have an awesome holiday so far. I have had a great holiday, but I feel very scattered. I need my daughter to go back to school so I can get some work done. But while I was doing, what I love about this time of year is I love spending time really thinking about the year ahead. And while I was doing that on the weekend, I thought, oh my gosh, I made some major shifts in the way I plan and the way I do my goal setting and vision planning last year. So last year at this exact time, I shifted everything. I used to go into goal setting thinking more about making this pretty vision board, which I still do because I love, I'm a creative being and I love having something pretty to look at. So if you can actually see my vision board on my wall there, and I will do that again this year but i took it like several steps further and really broke down my goals and it changed everything for me and it changed how i ended up having a really really successful year and i believe it was because i took the time to do this work that i'm going to share with you guys tonight so it's really about shifting your mindset um, putting in the time, like I said in one of my emails, this is going to take maybe 45 minutes tonight and we're going to brainstorm a little bit, but I would love for you guys to set aside like an hour of your time that you can just focus on this stuff. And this is not just business. This is life. We are going to go through eight pillars in your life and we're going to think about goals and where where things are right now and where you want them to be and where we can where we can go from now go from here so i am going to share my screen i've got some slides here so you guys can follow along just give me a second here okay i hope you guys can see that maybe tammy i can see you can you give me a okay Thank you. Awesome. Okay. So your 2020 vision, I mean, is there anything better than this year, a brand new year, a brand new decade, and we get to say 2020 vision all year. I just love it. <laughs> but this is going to help you guys accelerate your abundance. And that's what I want you to feel when you get off this masterclass. I want you to feel like you can actually see where you are going because that is something that is so key really getting into your vision and starting to think about it every single day whatever hopes and dreams and desires you have actually envisioning them i am not kidding that's something that's come very easy to me my whole life i'm a dreamer you would often catch me just like looking out a window but inside I would be actually envisioning what I wanted to have happen and when you do that guys stuff actually happens so tonight we're gonna go through four things we're gonna shift your mindset we're gonna give I'm gonna give you my blueprint my greatness blueprint outline we're gonna do an awesome abundance meditation that I love taking my private clients through. And then I am going to announce something really exciting that I just actually dreamed up a couple days ago and you guys are the first to hear about it. So I'm super excited to share that with you. So let's get going. You know, a perfect life doesn't necessarily exist, but I truly believe a life that is perfect for you most certainly does. If you get into alignment, if you actually trust and believe and take action, I truly believe everything that you want in your life can happen. Your dreams may shift, your desires may change, but when you're open to all of that, your life can become the happiest thing you've ever dreamed of. So let's make that happen this year for you guys. So before we start goal planning, there's some things we have to go through. There's some baggage, there's some things we have to think about. And I'm gonna take you through those right now. The biggest change I made in 2019 was first of all, starting to work with a coach who, who kind of didn't put up with my, my crazy limiting beliefs and didn't put up with me um, 
not feeling less than she was someone that pushed me. But what she says to me every single week that I talk to her is what do you really want? Stop thinking about what everybody else wants and what you think you should be doing for everyone else. What do you really want? She told me to go get a journal and a pen and give myself 15 minutes every single day to ask myself that simple question. And it's so simple, but the problem is as women, we are so busy giving to everybody else. We are so busy worrying about what everybody else wants us to do. We never actually give ourselves a quiet moment to think, what do I really want? Like what goals do I really have? What dreams would I love to make come true for myself. We often let limiting beliefs get in our way. The second thing we need to do before you're going to get anywhere is think about forgiveness. And this was a big one for me. And it might be something that you're thinking like, what? What does that have to do with anything? But honestly, if you have resentment, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have resentment, if you have regret, if you have things that haven't necessarily gone right in your life, broken relationships, a lost dream, a failed business, you've got some self-forgiveness to do. I had a lot of it to do. It was most of my work in 2019 was spent on forgiving things that I thought I had done that hadn't worked out right, what other people had done to me that were still festering inside. And when you have that negativity in your subconscious mind, it is very hard to step forward. It is very hard to think abundantly when you are being held back by all of those negative things. So I would suggest, I would challenge you to really write yourself a letter and really take the time to think about the people that you need to forgive the situations that you need to move past. And lots of times, for me anyways, just writing a letter was enough. I finally kind of cleansed myself of all that stuff. Um, no one's ever gonna have to see it. You don't have to feel like you have to send it to anyone. <laughs> Trust me, no one's gonna wanna see the letters I wrote. But it was such a, cle like a cleansing thing for me. And then I was able to really think about what I wanted. The next thing that none of us do enough of is thinking about the things that we have achieved in our lives. We are so quick to think about the things that we didn't get done, that we didn't achieve in 2019. But what about the stuff that you did? What about making it through that 100 day workout program? What about actually starting this business? What about maybe you did, you went on a trip or you took a chance or you, whatever. But I want you to even take it a step farther. And what I did for myself is I went right back to the place that I could remember. And the first memory that I had was some public speaking that I did in elementary school. And I friggin' rocked it. You know, we got to go to the Legion back then. You know, you went to your classroom, then you went to the Legion, and then you went. Yeah, I did that. And you know, I don't think I ever took the time to really say to myself, that was pretty awesome. And that time I won the skating competition and the time I was a, a lifeguard that I finally passed all those tests. What about the things that you've actually achieved? Start celebrating them. Write a huge list. This is my journal. This is my list. Like this is my forgiveness stuff. This is my achievements. Like I mean, go deep you guys. And this is the work that is going to help you really start thinking about what you want to do in the future. And then I want you to think about your energetic minimums. We all have them and it is something that will hold you back. You are often settling in life, settling with the extra 10 pounds, Settling with maybe the relationship that isn't making you happy. That doesn't mean you have to leave the relationship, but it could mean that you need to work on it instead of settling. And those are the things we're going to talk about tonight. Do you have an energetic minimum in your bank account? I used to. 
I was very uncomfortable if I didn't have a thousand dollars in my bank account. So my, my bank account always just kind of sat at a thousand dollars, but it never grew. It was like, I was just very comfortable with a thousand dollars. I had to flip the script on that. Now it's a lot higher. I want more money in my bank account. Maybe your energetic minimum for your bank account is minus 500. Maybe you're like, okay with that. And you always end up there at the end of the month. You need to really look at that and think about it and make the shifts. What do you believe you should and can have? Those are your energetic minimums that you need to think about. So that's just kind of a journaling exercise. Take those four things, spend some time and think about them. And then we can get into some goal setting. Okay, these are some questions that I want you to think about. What do I need to stop doing? What do I need to start doing? And these are just examples of things that you can start asking yourself when you're, when you're asking yourself those why questions, like what do I want out of life? What do I want out of this business? What do I want for my health? What, is, what does my body need right now? How can I let go of limiting beliefs? What baggage do I have that's holding me back? Am I listening to my heart? How can I bring more love into my relationships? How can I have more fun? How can I surround myself with more people that inspire me? What do I want to do for the rest of my life? Am I willing to take risks to pursue my dreams? What's my definition of success? How can I open myself to abundance and receiving more money into my life? Do I believe I deserve to make more money? Do I ask myself enough questions? I can't even see the last one here. So I'm just going to skip it. But those are the kind of things that you need to ask yourself. Those are the, it's like getting curious with yourself. We often just don't ask ourselves enough questions. We just let everything just keep going along, la la la, but we don't actually ask ourselves these hard questions. There are eight pillars to a healthy life. And I know I saw some of you had your, um, the worksheets that I gave you in our email. So have those in front of you. And we're going to go through these eight pillars to a healthy life, your health and your body, your emotional, spiritual, and personal growth, intimate relationships, your social life and your fun, your family, friends, work and career, your money and finances, and community and giving. And what I want you to do first is to rate them. Where are you right now? One being very, very unhappy with your present situation. 10 being like, this is awesome. This is exactly where I want to be. Where are you right now when it comes to these eight pillars that represent a really healthy life? And guys, I'm not going to like stop and wait for us all to do this. This is kind of me going through this a little bit quickly. And then you guys can take this later. That's why I gave you the worksheets and you can really work through it. You'll also all get this recording. So you'll be able to go back if you need to hear what I said. Why I like to rate it now is in nine, every single, honestly, every single week I look at my goals. But every 90 days, I do this again, because I am very open to change. I am very, I invite change. I invite intuitive action into my life. So a year ago, what I wanted, 90 days later changed, and 90 days later changed. So I like to go back and see where I was. And that's why I like to rate this. Like if my health and body right now is a five, I sure hope that in a year, in 365 days, it's an eight. Like I, I hope I've made progress. When you have focus and you have a plan, you have confidence to take action. And that's the magic about doing this work when you're thinking about your goals. So rate them from one to 10 so you have that, so you can go back to it. 
And then next, you're going to ask yourself some questions. And if you want to stop at this point, you've done more than most people do. Do you know only 8% of people stick to their, you know, January goals, like past like three weeks, 8% of people. So if you even do these two sheets of the, the worksheet, you're good. Like you've taken it a step farther. You've, you've given yourself some focus. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about those eight pillars and ask yourself three questions about each of them. Where am I now? Where do I want to be? And what is one massive action step that I can take to get where I want to be. So here's an example for me. Let's say, let's see, what will I pick here? Um, okay, my work and career, I'll pick that one. So my, where am I na am now? I have two successful businesses, but I'm ready for more. Where do I want to be? I want to have a huge presence and I want to build bigger. What is one massive action step I know I need to take to do that? I need to be bolder. I need to be bolder online. I need to be bolder in my emails. I need to be bolder in my conversations. I need to be bolder in person. I just need to make bolder decisions. So maybe yours is, I'd like to lose 25 pounds. You know, where am I now? Here's my weight. Where do I wanna be? I wanna be 25 pounds lighter. Well, what is one massive action step that you need to take to get there? If that was a goal of mine, that would be stop nighttime eating. So that's the one massive action step. So even if you tuned me out from now on in this call, even if you did this part, you have some focus. You've thought about exactly where you are right now, exactly where you wanna be, and one massive action step that you can take to get there. But I know you guys are, you want more than that. You want more out of life. And this is how you're gonna get there. This is when you, in combination with your goals and your visions, those questions that you asked yourself at the beginning, how you want to feel, you can now break down those areas in your life and you can see exactly what you need to do and exactly who you need to be to experience massive success. This is what's gonna take some time and some effort, but I'm telling you, it is so worth it. So you're going to ask yourself some questions about each of those eight pillars. So I gave you guys the questions in the worksheet okay so basically what i want you to do is get your journal out and write health and body and then look at these six questions and answer them and honestly it doesn't take that long once you get going it seems kind of like daunting but and i'm refused to use the word overwhelmed because i hate that word that's a choice overwhelms a choice so if you want to go somewhere in your life and you really want to do something epic in 2020, trust me, this is going to help you. So number one question, what is my specific goal and what do I really want in this area of my life? Why do I want it? What would I love to have? Why do I want this? What is my purpose for achieving these goals? How will this goal benefit or affect my life? What's gonna happen if I don't achieve it? That's a great one to ask yourself. What's gonna happen if I don't lose those 25 pounds? You know, what's the doctor gonna say? Is my cholesterol gonna stay high? What's gonna happen if I don't continue doing the daily business activities every single day? Am I gonna just have to give up on that? Number three, who do I need to be to achieve these goals. And guys, this is where I do my I am statements. And I, I, like, I love I am statements. If you ever follow me, you know that I'm a huge 
believer in affirmations, in uh, mirror talk, all of that kind of stuff. It's made a huge, huge, huge difference in my life. And I like to break down my I am statements like, I am going to empower women to build their businesses, which is going to grow my income. So I like to make big, bold, I like to call them juicy I am statements. But who do you need to be to achieve the goal that you really want in those eight pillars? What is my specific plan? And what do I need to do to make this goal happen? You need a plan. You know, what's the saying? A goal without a plan? I don't even know what that saying is now. You fail to plan, you plan to fail, right? Isn't that what it is? Um, and, but you need a plan. If you don't have a plan of action, you are not gonna feel confident in doing anything. When? We need to have a timeline. Like when things, when goals are just floating out air, we, we never ever do them. So what is your time frame for success? And number six, which I think is almost the most important thing to ask yourself, the most important, in fact, I should have put this as number one, what barriers, fears, limitations do I need to overcome to achieve this goal? What limiting beliefs are holding you back? That is the, the biggest flip that I made last year was really diving into my limiting beliefs. One of my biggest issues, it continues to be something I work on daily, is comparison. And guys, most of us are in business online and we're comparing to other people's success, to other people's ranks, to what other people's social media looks like. If that's one of your things, you need to get a journal out, you need to start writing down your achievements, you need to start really dealing with your mindset. It is the biggest flip that I made in 2019 and it changed everything for me. So I'm gonna take you through one of my examples. So you can see me actually going through those questions to myself and, and showing you how I broke this down. Now, I don't want anyone, we just talked about comparison, so I don't want anyone to get into their heads looking at my numbers. I have used my money and financial blueprint as an example. I want this to be inspiring to you guys. I want you to see what is possible when you actually make your online business a priority. Major things can happen in your life. Now, I know not everyone on this call is maybe in online business, but I think most of us are, or we're hoping to be, or we're wanting to be. So I want you to know there is room for everyone in online business to be super successful. That is why I've used this example, because I want you to see what's possible. So what is my specific goal this year for my money and financial blueprint? I would like to make 50K, well, I would like to have 50K months and a half a million dollar a year. So, alrighty then. Totally kind of scary to even look at, to say out loud. So how am I going to make that happen? So the first question I'm asking myself is why do I want it? You know, like what's my purpose for achieving this goal? And my answer is because why not? Why shouldn't I be able to accomplish this? I have the right support. I have an amazing coach that keeps me accountable and supports me every day. I have the energy and I do have the belief that that is possible. Who do I need to be to achieve this goal? What mindset do I need to succeed with this? And this is where I'm using my I am statement. And this is stuff that I am gonna to say to myself every single day, every single day, every single morning, I am writing this in my journal. I am worthy of this success. I am following my heart to achieve this. I am smart enough. I am passionate about helping other women see success. And like I said, this juicy I am statement, I am creative. 
and I want to share what I know so others can see massive success, which will grow my income so I can reach my income goals. That step number three has to be locked into your heart. You have to be saying that every day. And remember, this might be about your health and fitness. This might be about your relationship. This might be about your family and friends. It doesn't have to be your money, but money and financial is part of a healthy life. Number four, what's my plan? Like it's easy to put a number on a piece of paper and that's what I used to do with my little beautiful, you know, beautiful vision board up there. I was just like grab some magazine numbers and be like, okay, I think that sounds good. Maybe I'll make a thousand dollars a week. I don't know, but I didn't have a plan. This makes you think of a plan. You need to figure out how are you going to get to that goal? So for me, my network marketing income brings in 25 K per month. I will continue to grow our team and mentor women who have big goals and dreams for their businesses. Now I have a second business that I started about four to five months ago called the contagious community. Why most of you are here. I plan to grow it to bring in the other 25 K per month. Okay. Well, how are you going to do that? Michelle, I'm going to give value every single day in my free community. My gracefully grow your way to hundred K Academy will have 20 women enrolled every two months. I will start a mastermind. It will be two times in 2020. I'll have a 30 day boxer accountability intensive every other month, five to 10 women. I will continue to do my 90 minute intensive success calls. So between all of that brainstorming that will come up with that number. Do you see what I mean? You have to, it's called reverse engineer. You have to take the goal that you want and you have to figure out how you're gonna get there because that brings you focus. When you are focused, you have confidence. It doesn't matter what it is. If you wanna have a better relationship with your husband, it's easy to just say that, but what are you gonna do? Are you gonna have date nights once a week? Are you going to make sure you eat supper together every night? Like, what are you going to do? What's the plan? Number five is interesting because I do believe when I have a timeline, I push. When I have a goal and I have a deadline, it's like that FOMO. It's like you need to do it. And you, you, you have a little bit more energy behind yourself when you have a deadline. So I will be reaching this goal by March, 2020. But what I want to make very clear to you guys is one of the biggest reasons a lot of you don't see success is because you get stuck on your timeline. The universe has no time. Did you know like humans created time? Like it actually doesn't mean anything. So if you have a goal in your mind, the most important piece of advice I can give you tonight is even if you don't hit it, you need to keep believing you're going to. So if I don't hit 50 K by March, 2020, I promise you, I am still writing 50 K on the shower door every single morning <laughs> you know it gets all foggy my glass shower door and i write 50k every single morning it doesn't matter if it didn't happen by march 2020 i still believe that it's gonna happen the two things that you need to make goals happen is never ending belief and action if you have never ending belief what you want will happen. Either the goal you have in your mind and in your heart will happen or your heart will change and you actually won't want that goal because you've continued to believe in yourself and, and what you want. I can tell you there is a goal that was written. If I brought down my vision board, it's all over my vision board. 2019 January, it was the only thing I could think of. Six months ago, 
I could feel it shifting. It really didn't matter to me anymore. Four months ago, I was like, yeah, I'm not really into that anymore. And now I am 100% other goals have been achieved. That one wasn't because it doesn't matter. So my heart changed, but my belief in myself continued. Number six, what barriers or limiting beliefs could be holding me back? The only barrier that can hold me back from reaching this goal is myself. As long as I keep my energy high, the support that I need around me, I have no doubt I will reach this goal. If I follow my intuition and keep my mindset around comparison, which I already shared with you guys is one of my, you know, things that gets me down all the time. If I keep that strong, I'll be fine. I will 100% reach that goal. Delaney Cantor tonight. This is a big, I'm big scared. night. I'm scared. <laughs> Good girl. Okay. So does that make sense? Do you see how you can actually take those eight pillars those eight pillars to a healthy life and break them down with those questions that I gave you in that blueprint. I hope that makes sense. And I hope you guys will, oops, will take the time to do that. If you took an hour on New Year's Day, you know, maybe don't sleep in as much as you thought you might have and just take an hour before everybody wakes up and do this, you are gonna feel so awesome going into 2020. Takes a bit of time. Um, it takes some real brain work, but it is so worth it. I will tell you that goals, I really did not ever anticipate like this. You guys would not be here on a call like this if I hadn't done this in 2019. This having a second business was on my heart for so long, but I really didn't believe that it could happen until I just started breaking it down and was like, well, yeah, I can. I totally can do that because I got focused. I had a focused plan. And when you have a focused plan, you have confidence. I personally, you know, I have all my stuff written out in my, my journal and I do look at it every day. But like I said, I would suggest you do this exercise every 90 days because like I said, things change. Goals are accomplished. And you need to always be focused about what you want for your own life. Okay, so one of my favorite things to do is a little meditation. I hope you guys are into that. And if you're not, that's okay. You will be by the end of this. Okay, I am going to play a little bit of music. I don't even know if you guys can hear that, but. And I want if you can all of you guys to sort of close your eyes and just get super super relaxed and take some deep breaths and this is what's really going to solidify and help you really think about the vision that you have for yourself in 2020. start thinking about it Start thinking about the things that were going through your mind when we were talking. Get really relaxed. I want you to put your chin up a little bit. I want you to open up your heart. Like you're looking, like your heart is facing the sun. Take another really, really deep, deep breath. Breathe in peace and breathe out all the fear inside of you, all the tension, let it out. Now, I want you to envision yourself in a circular room. And in this room, there are doors. There are closed doors, but they're really, really inviting. Every door is one of your favorite colors. And you can tell that this room is safe, that you are supposed to be in this room. 
It is full of prosperity and abundance. I want you to smile and envision that behind each door is exactly what you are hoping to achieve this year. Now, I want you to walk to the first door. Don't be nervous. We are so safe in this room. Be calm and excited. Now open the door and you see the money and good fortune and the financial goals that you have set for yourself right there in front of you. You can see that you've reached your goal by doing the things that you love. Your income is increasing. Take another deep breath. Imagine how you are going to feel when you accomplish this. Take another deep breath and walk over to the next door. You open that door and you see your most vibrant and energetic self. You smile because you can see that you have achieved how you want to feel in your body. For the first time, you feel so confident about the way you look and the way you feel. Take another deep breath. Now let's walk over to the next door and open it. And there you are. You see how much you've grown, how much your energy has changed, how much you've learned over the past 365 days, how confident you feel with all the knowledge you've come to grow into that has helped you see the success that you've always wanted. Now you're getting really excited. I want you to go to the next door. I want you to open it. There you are with your partner, happy and full of joy. The desire you had for your intimate relationship has come true. You've taken the action that you knew you needed to take to have the relationship that you've always wanted. And now you are full of joy with the outcome. Walk to the next door and take and open it, slowly open it. Here you see all the hopes, dreams, and desires you have for your work and your career. It's all there for you. It all happened. You are safe going and striving for the goals that you're almost afraid to admit to anyone. You can see if you take action, you are going to achieve what you want and be extremely happy. The next door opens and you smile so wide. Your friends and your family are standing there. You can see that when you focus on the things that you want to happen, they are so happy and supportive. The time you've take, taken to work on the, these relationships have brought you everything that you've ever desired. All the doors are open and you can see that because you were so focused this year, it all came true. You can see all of your goals, your hopes, and your dreams right there in front of you. You feel happy, excited, fulfilled, and so empowered. 
you know that all that you desire is going to bring you and others so much joy. Your year is full of abundance. You are capable of making all of your dreams happen. Now, imagine all of the doors slowly closing calmly. Take some deep breaths. The doors are now closed. You've given your plan, your vision to the universe. You've seen it, all that you desire. It is already yours. It is coming and it is going to be amazing. Now all you have to do is believe that it's coming. Continue to believe that you are going to witness all of those amazing things come true in your life. Now take another deep breath in and out. Smile and slowly open your eyes when you're ready. No rush. Okay, you guys, I hope you look, I'm a meditation, my, I, my husband teases me because I'm totally woo. <laughs> I love doing stuff like that, but I find that when I get into a state like that, when I'm really relaxed and I'm able to envision what I want, I usually do something like that every morning for about five minutes and I really envision my current goal. I like see it. I see myself there. I know what I'm wearing. I know it, like it just I know everything about it and that has proven to be really successful in my life. So, um I'll give you a couple if you're not into meditation yet and you kind of want to get into it, the the app that I started with that really helped me was called Headspace. And it's, it's really easy to get into. They're really short. They're guided. It's a free app. Um, but it's great. Like, and don't, when I started, I thought it was so weird. Like I thought this is nuts, but I slowly realized how much it was helping me. My mom was a big, she was really into this kind of stuff when I was a kid. And I thought she was Cuckoo. So it's a big joke now that I am so into it. And she, I think I'm more into it than her now. So, okay, here we go. I want to introduce you guys to something brand new. I literally dreamt this up on Saturday morning. And here we are on this call. I knew I had to get this information out to you guys because I know that you have so many goals for 2020. And so do I. My 2020 vision is to help as many female online business owners reach their goals. So I am excited to introduce to you my brand new, like literally hot off the press, 30 days to accelerate your abundance program. I hear the same things from you guys over and over and over again. I can't stay consistent. I'm not focused. I'm scattered and overwhelmed. I don't know what things I should be doing in my business. I'm not motivated. I don't know how. I hear the same thing. You're not alone. If you're feeling like that, you are not alone. Everyone has moments like this, but you don't need to feel that way. I've spent six, almost six years helping women build online businesses. And it does not need to be overwhelming. It does not need to take all day. And it can be so fun, exciting, and prosperous. You can really change your life with this business. You can be consistent and excited every single day. When you know the right steps to take daily, you will not only be focused, but confident. It is just like planning your 2020. When you have focus, you are confident. When you know the right steps to take, you will take them. You have the time. If you, you know, the women on my team know that I just do not like that excuse because guys, when I started building this business, 
I ran a six figure salon and spa. I had 10 women working for me. My dad was on his deathbed. I had a little girl, like there was a lot going on, but I still did this business because I focused on the right things. So it didn't take me hours and hours. And in fact, it was my time. It was something that I was loving doing. So that hour that I found in my day that I made happen was like a release for, for me. And when you have daily motivation and accountability, you, you can take yourself from being that broke person to abundant in no time. So that is what gave me the idea of creating a 30 day, basically like a mentorship. So what is going to happen is I am going to spend 30 days with, I said six, six to 10 women starting on January 6th. And we are going to be in a Voxer chat thread together. I am going to be mentoring you every single day. I will be leading you to success with daily motivation, daily tasks, and accountability. Because you guys, you know how to do this business. Every single network marketing company has a tracker to follow. I gave you a tracker. Uh, it is really very simple tasks that you have every single day. The problem is you don't have the consistency you don't have the support and the accountability to keep you motivated and keep you energetic. I have been coined, I, so I've just gone through my first ever Gracefully Grow group, high level group coaching program. And one of my um, ladies called me the motivation queen. <laughs> and it's because I go in and I energize people every single day. Like you cannot help but do your daily tasks because I am there helping you obviously brainstorm what is going to be great and what's gonna help move your business forward. But honestly, it's all about accountability. It's all about giving you the support and the push that you need to do it every single day. What do they say about building a habit? It takes 21 days. I am going to give you 30. I am gonna be with you for 30 days so you can get this business going. You can get your business off the ground so those goals that you just wrote down for your money and financial blueprint and your work and your career are gonna happen you are going to set the standard for this year because these habits are going to be created you're also going to get bonus of lifetime access to my savvy stories course and two of the bonus modules from my gracefully grow your way to 100k group coaching program so that is the exciting news. You will all be getting an email from me in probably, I don't even know what time it is, around eight o'clock tonight, and they will give you a few more of the details about this program. This is the only way to work one-on-one -on -one with me in a time frame that will solidify your 2020 vision. I'll be helping you create consistent habits that are gonna take you into this new year ready, focused, and confidently reaching your goals. Like, I am not kidding. At the end of 2020, I want to be celebrating all of you. I want to see that whatever you wrote and whatever you write every single 90 days actually happens. It's not just like a fun game that you're throwing some goals out there on a vision board. I want to see you believe it and then take the action steps to make it happen. And that's what's gonna happen in this 30 days to accelerate your abundance program. So all the details are there in your email. Just click reply if you have some questions for me. As I said, I am only gonna take at max 10 women. And if I get over that, you'll be put on the wait list for February. And we will do, I'll be doing this every single month until 2020 when I can celebrate you guys. Okay. Awesome. I am just going to check and see if there's any questions. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet, Heather. Does anybody have any questions? All good? Okay. You can always reach out to me. I'm on all the social medias as Michelle File or the Contagious Community. You can reach out with any questions that you have about this class tonight. Oh, you have a question. Oh, uh, where 
are you? Where are you? I think I have to unmute. Okay, you're unmuted. Um, I was just wondering if you do any meditation videos, um, like just that itself, because I really like that part of your video today. Did you? Oh, yeah. thank you. You know what? I do have a few meditations on my um, YouTube channel. So if you search, you know what I will do? You're in the Contagious community. Yeah, you are. I will put the links in the Contagious community so you can hear them. I have like three or four. Um, it's just something that I, re I really do like recording them. So I probably will record a few more, but I will throw those up tomorrow for you guys in the group so you can see them. <laughs> That's so nice. Thank you. That's such a nice compliment because honestly, doing meditations is like, obviously I just, make it up as I go along. Like, I don't really know what I'm doing. So that's very nice of you. Thank you. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope this really helps. Like, honestly, I hope this helps you go into 2020 with a plan because I can, I'll, I'll say this until I'm blue in the face. When you have a plan, when you have focus, you're automatically confident. When you have some action steps, you have confidence and that is going to get you closer to your goal just by having that. Thanks guys. Happy new year. Have a great time. I don't know about you, but I'm going to bed early tomorrow night. <laughs> There's no party in for this girl, but if you do see midnight, that's awesome. I will not. <laughs> Bye guys. Thank you so much.